Mark Zuber, I'm the Executive Director of Equality California, and I'm here to talk about Equality California 3.0, which was our effort to reposition the organization post-marriage equality. If you think about um, Equality California, when I stepped into this role, we were struggling. And we were struggling in part because of the, um, of the wins that we had had. We had adopted 106 civil rights laws, uh, bringing California to the states, which has the most comprehensive civil rights protections of any states in the country. We also had marriage equality. And, but we hadn't really articulated what the next phase of our movement was um, and what, what we were working on, things that were important and compelling for our community. So we went through a mini uh, four-month strategic planning exercise, adopted a brand new mission statement. It's broad, it's intersectional, a lot like the NAACP. We're the statewide civil rights organization for California's LGBT community. And so we adopted three sets of objectives, achieving acceptance and, and, and equality for the uh, community, both inside and outside California. Acceptance is the key word now that we've achieved legislation. We're focusing on acceptance within our communities. Second, our community has uh, experienced significant disparities in health and well-being compared to the broader population. High rates of poverty, high rates of depression and suicide, low rates of health insurance coverage. 40% of the homeless kids in Los Angeles and San Francisco are LGBT. So those are the things we're working on, and we are using our capacity, our legislative, our education capacity to focus on those issues. And then the last part of our mission is really to achieve a fair and just California, which recognizes that as LGBT people, we are not going to achieve social justice and full equality until all the communities that we are a part of reach those goals. And so we uh, understand that we need to be a leader and a, um, uh, in the broader civil rights and progressive movement. So in order to showcase the new mission, we basically adopted um, branded program initiatives in each area. On advancing acceptance, we announced um, our merger with California Faith for Equality, which is 30, 300 faith leaders to allow us to do education in faith communities throughout the state. We are facing probably a nasty Prop 8-like ballot initiative in 2016, so we uh, have partnered with the Transgender Law Center and we are um, uh, trying to get off the ground a broad-scale public education campaign which is focused on increasing acceptance and understanding of the transgender community. In terms of addressing disparities, this has really modeled a lot of what uh, Part State Pride Agenda is in. We announced Fair Share for Equality, brought many of the healthcare providers, LGBT organizations together in a convening. We established priorities in terms of, uh, so we could engage in budget advocacy at the state of California, and really uh, adopted seven recommendations. Um, and that has really shaped our legislative um, agenda now. Whereas we're used to work on civil rights laws, five of our eight bills this cycle are focused on reducing disparities. We have a data collection bill, a bill that is focused on cultural competency training for teachers, another that would require that the sex ed curriculum in California schools reflect LGBT people in another way in which we're addressing bullying. We also are using our field canvas to, assign, to sign people up under the Affordable Care Act. I think we're one of the most successful LGBT organizations in the country having assisted 4,700 people. We also have a broad scale program of cultural competency training uh, with healthcare clinics throughout the state. Our first focus is on the California Central Valley where we actually have um, 250,000 LGBT undocumented people, many of whom don't have health care. So we actually are engaging in cultural competency trainings from both an LGBT and an undocumented perspective to really enhance the health care for the LGBT undocumented community. On achieving a fair and just California, we have more than 50% of our staff and our board are, comes from community of colors. We're very committed, and we've really embraced a package of immigration-related programs, including um, advancing a bill called Health for All, which would provide, would provide California state funding for people who are undocumented, which will provide 150,000 LGBT undocumented people with health insurance for the first time. We have a public education program aimed at our 800,000 members to try to help our members understand why comprehensive immigration reform is an LGBT issue. And then lastly, we're, we are leading a collaborative of LGBT organizations in the, in the state um, really to provide help to the undocumented community in signing up uh, under DAPA and DACA, the President's Executive Order. 
So that's just a taste of the new work that we're doing um, and uh, a flavor of the, a broader, uh, more uh, uh, diverse agenda. And I think as all of you succeed, hopefully we will provide uh, some lessons and we'll be able to talk to you about where you may be heading in the years ahead. So thank you very much.